Hello and welcome to Grey Main Gaming. My name, of course, is Grey Main. Back with Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga and some news and views. We're going to do some news that is uh, popular today and some views. That means my personal view, my personal opinion about all things related to uh, uh, animals in the conservation and preservation of all animals uh, that we have um, in the news today which is something new to this channel but you know it's like a lot of these things go unheard of because you know people see it and they don't really pay much mind to it uh, one of the ones that I'm talking about in today's news is that of a walrus in Norway named Freya now Freya was euthanized today. Today is Sunday, August the 14th. Um, and Freya is a, was a, I have to use past tense now, was a like 1400 pound female walrus that was in, uh, that was kind of frequenting a, um, an area of Norway where there was a lot of boats and she would sunbathe on the boats and she even like, um, sink a few of the boats and of course this made her newsworthy because you know a 1400 pound walrus that sinks a boat obviously will make the news and so once this happened people flocked to uh, see Freya once the uh, area that she was located was revealed people began to to uh, flock to see her and get pictures with her and this created a problem with the uh, the people that owned the air you know the dock area or the city um, and they decided the best way to handle this was to euthanize Freya because people there was crowds of people going there and taking pictures very close to the walrus, uh, with, you know, endangering themselves and even their children. There's like a a photo that's circulating around the internet right now of uh, people having their children up in front at the water's edge, right next to this uh, this 1,400 pound wild animal. Now, if you're a parent with a small child, what gets into your head that tells you it is safe to put your child near a 1400 pound animal that could easily take the life of your child if you're doing this you need to lose your children because that is not at all common sense you're stupid i'm sorry to say but you are um and so this brings to light should an animal pay for a human's mistake, a human's ignorance? Uh, people were warned not to go near the walrus, Freya. We're, not, we're warned not to go near her because there was a risk that they were going to euthanize her. And yet, did people listen? Of course not. Of course not. They kept going there. With all the warnings being told that, you know, it's going to cost this animal its life, they still went there. Uh, and you see this happening in Yellowstone in the United States as well with these idiots that walk up to bison and, you know, try to pet the animal and they end up getting gored, right? And then, of course, everyone's like, oh, you know, it's it's the bison. They're mean. Of course they're mean. They're wild animals. You don't walk up to, you know, try walking up to a lion and petting it out, you know, on the, you know, in Africa or you know, try that and see what happens you know try walking up and trying to pet a wild elephant see what happens it's just it's it's not smart and these animals are paying the price for it you know um the idea being that if norway had used their brains and jailed people that were approaching this walrus uh, if they had levied stiff fines to these people, you know, hitting someone in the pockets is always going to change their mind about something. 
right? If you, have, especially now when you know inflation is at its highest, you know, in a long time, hitting them in the pockets is going to change their mind about doing something again. Uh, putting them in jail possibly will change. I don't know if it'll be as much as money, but putting them in jail is going to change their minds and make them rethink their stupid behavior. That's what jail's for. Right? So, I, you know, I think it was an extreme measure that, you know, they should have tried. But I guess I can see their point because uh, what if something had happened to one of these kids or one of these adults in the meantime? You know, the city would have had probably an incredible lawsuit. And it's kind of funny that the first time anyone had gotten hurt by this walrus, they probably would have sued the city because of their own stupidity, right? And I don't know if they would have won, but chance, you know, do you want to take a chance? Does, does you know, the city want to take a chance? Probably not. Uh, that's just how incredibly stupid people are, you know? I'm going to put myself at risk, and if I get hurt, I'm going to sue whoever's property I'm on. Uh, it's just a backwards society, a backwards world that we live in. So please, if you're watching this video, don't go to Yellowstone and try to pet, you know, the bison. Don't encroach on animals and, you know, in their personal space. Um, have respect. Do the right thing. It's so much easier to do the wrong thing and the easy thing. Change that whole dynamic and do the right thing. Be a person who does the right thing. Because, you know, that, it just costs them their lives, and uh, it's ridiculous. Um, speaking of inflation, though, uh, there's a lot of animals that are being turned over to, uh, to pet shelters now because people can't afford their animals anymore. And that's a very sad, sad story. Uh, if you need help, there are outlets out there. Call your local Red Cross. Call your local food bank, they might be able to help you if you're running low on dog food. There's a lot of charities in your local area that help feed animals as well as, you know, your family, because animals are part of your family. So if, if you're finding yourself uh, to where you can't feed your dog or your cat, um, then maybe try that. Uh, try one of your local charities for, for dog food before you give up your pet. I would never give up my dogs. I mean, I, they would eat before I would, you know. So um, try that. I hope you're not. Ha I hope you're not having issues or struggling. This is a hard time for a lot of people, um, and a hard time if you have pets. It's got to be one heck of a decision to make if you have to give up your pet because you can't afford them. Um, but reach out to these places first before you do. Uh, because there is help out there. You just have to be able to find it. Uh, and, you know, your pet should stay with you if you love your pet. Uh, no one wants to see, uh, you know, that happen or kind of make that walk of shame turning in your pet and uh, having to leave them behind. It's a sad, sad state. Uh... And uh, lastly, uh, the L.A. County SPCA, so SPCALA, are going has a uh, clear the shelters event going on right now from August 12th, so started two days ago, through August the 21st. So pet adoption fees will be $25 for qualified adopters. That's $25 at the. Uh, LA SPCAs uh, and the first qualified or no, the first 50 qualified adopters will have no adoption fee at all. So there you go. That might already been passed because it was two days ago. Um, it says uh, at least uh, 70 animal shelters and non-profit rescue organizations throughout Southern California are partnering uh, with uh, to create awareness about pet adoptions and raise funds to support animal welfare. If you want to call, or if you want to 
adopt an animal, you can go to uh, spcala.com slash adopt to see what animals they have available. I'll put that in the uh, description below. So, All right, let's get this mission done. I've talked enough. i got to bring this guy over there. I don't know how I'm gonna, can he get over this way? I don't think he can. How am I going to get you over there, bro? I think it's over here. Yeah. Uh, if I can jump there, I don't know if I can or not. Come on, get down. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, okay. I need... No, I need to stick with him. And we need his net launcher. All righty. Let's do it. I probably couldn't have gotten... I probably could have flown up there at Boba Fett, but oh well. Yeah, I could have. There we go. Great temple traversal. And that is complete, folks. I hope you have a great weekend. Rest of the weekend. It's almost the end. And, uh... Do the right thing out there, people. It'll always work out in the end if you do the right thing. I'll see you in the next video.